Hey everybody! So I have not made a video on this channel in like 10 months, and it's time to change that. Um, the reasoning behind that though is because, um, number one, the, the trading card game online had too many bugs to make it really playable. Um, you know, cards weren't working right, and what's the point of playing if you don't, if you know, the cards aren't doing what they're supposed to do. Um, and then also they took it down for a while because they were working on what you see right now, which is the new downloadable client. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, it's been out for a couple weeks now, and I figured um, I might as well show you guys around the new uh, program. So, what you're going to have to do is download it first, because it does not run on the website anymore. It's not uh, um, Flash-based. Um, and you can download it by just going to Pokemon.com. And uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you have not already downloaded it. Um, but do know that there's not currently an official Mac version. Um, I have a PC, so that's not an issue for me. Um, from what I hear, there is there is a way to get it on your Mac. Um, but don't ask me how because I don't own a Mac and I know nothing about it. Um, but if you have a PC, you can just download it directly from Pokemon. So... Anyway, let's get started. When you open it, this is what you're going to see. It's going to take you right to the play screen. And I'm going to go through each of what, what each of these uh, are count at the top is. Um, this is the play screen. Obviously, you would hit next and start a game and everything like that. Um, I'm not going to play a game right now, but I will play one within the next day or two. I'll have one uploaded. You guys can see how to start a game and how to play it and everything. Um, also, there's a chat in the corner here, which I'm going to get rid of. Um, I didn't join it. I don't know. I, th I think it, like, automatically put me in it when I started up the program, so. Um, but there are chats you can join, <laughs> which I never do. Um, so this is the play page, but we'll get to that in a separate video. Next icon is your profile. Pretty straightforward, if you <laughs> think about it. And, of course, my program is not responding. There we go. Um, that's not because of the program, that's because my computer runs slow. Um, so here's my avatar. As far as I know, there's no customization yet. Um, when you click on this, you just choose, like, one of the preset ones. So, um, that's my avatar. <clears throat> they show you your achievements. Um, again, you just get random achievements while you play. This one says 50th knockout. You know, I knocked out 50 Pokemon. Um, confuse five opposing Pokemon in the same game. Poison 5 opposing Pokemon in the same game, so, you know, um, kind of like the trainer challenge, um, achievements. Leaderboards, coming soon, my game stats, we'll take a look at that, um, shows you how many cards you've drawn, how much damage you've dealt and taken, how many games you've played, I think game points just means how many you've won, so I've won 12 of my 15, again, I haven't played a whole lot, <laughs> and I've, but I have played for 3 hours, so, <clears throat> And then collection stats is kind of interesting information, but nothing you'll really use. Just kind of tells you how many cards you have out of how many you could have. You know, I have 36% complete, um, and that's going from Heart Gold, Soul Silver on. So, interesting information, but um, kind of useless. <laughs> so, uh, and like I said, this avatar button just lets you choose one of the preset avatars. I, I believe later on, customization will be an option. Um, this next button here is your collection, and that will show you um, the cards you own, the packs you own, all kinds of things. Like I said, cards, packs, um, so if you have for trade items that are not available yet, but they will be soon, um, and cards that you are looking for. <clears throat> not sure what this review means, because every time I go there it's empty, so... <laughs> Um, but within your collection, you can view all your cards. You can view them in this carousel style, where you just kind of scroll through them one by one. Um, or you can do tile or list. So there's tiled. And there is list. So list one kind of gives you a lot of information. It's kind of cool. Um, I like seeing the cards bigger though, so I usually will use tile. <clears throat> and then you can also view the packs you own. I don't own any right now, but I do have a couple of codes um, that we will redeem, so I'll show you guys um, the packs. Again, items are coming soon. Not currently 
um, able to trade, but you are able to mark cards for trade and also cards that you want. Apparently I marked Mewtwo EX as wanted. Um, so that's the collection. Again, just shows you what you have. You can mark things for trade or, or things that you want. Um, this review button, I don't know what it does, so sue me. Um, next button here is your deck manager. Obviously going to be able to build decks in there, so we'll take a quick look at that. <clears throat> um, oh, <laughs> this is actually my second time recording this, so this best deck ever is from my previous <laughs> recording. Um, here you can see the ones that you already have made. Um, you can view it, edit it, you can clone it. So if you want to just change a couple of cards, you know, but keep the old one, you can do that. Or you can delete it. I'm going to delete it <laughs> because it has five cards in it. Um, and you can also build a new deck here. Very similar to how it was before. You just kind of click and drag. Oh, I want a couple Excel Gores and an Aerodactyl and Elamomola. It's going to be an awesome deck. Um, you can sort it by Pokemon, which is what I have out right now. Trainers, go through um, your trainers. Let's throw an Ultra Ball in there because why not? Um, and your energy cards. Just click and drag for all of them. And then you can see the full deck if you click all cards. Um, and you save it if you want to keep it. And just like in the previous one, you can choose a colored deck box, you know, whatever. Um, we'll go with that one. Um, you can change your coin if you've gotten, you know, blister uh, packs with codes. Um, the sleeves and the playmats you will be able to change, but as far as I'm aware, that's currently not available. I think that will be something that we'll see when um, using your coins and gems in the store is available, um, but you can also change the name of the deck. This is when I made this best deck ever. This is the real best deck ever. And then you save it. And it's telling me that my deck is not legal. I will not be able to play with it because it does not have 60 cards. Um, but it will save it for you. So, um, you know, let's say I don't have all the cards I'm looking for, but I, I want to start like a skeleton. Um, it'll save it for you. You can come back and add to it. Deck Wizard um, is a function that is kind of cool, but I would not suggest using. Um, basically, you just pick cards that you like and uh, it'll make a deck based off of it for you and, and they're terrible so we'll pick High Dragon and, and uh, Garchomp and, and see what it does okay so here's the deck it made me um, one Gibble, two Gabites and a Garchomp Dino, Zoilus, Hydragon um, <laughs> Sand Isles and, and Cuckoo Dials. Um, so, I mean, it's a terrible deck, and that's why I say I would never suggest uh, using the Deck Wizard, but uh, it is an option that's available, you know, if you want to give it a try and see what happens. Um, I'm not going to save this deck, though. So that's a thing. Deck Wizard. Um, and that's about it as far as deck manager goes. Um, it's pretty cool. Same, uh, pretty much the same as before. Um, like I said, trading is currently not available, but I am crossing my fingers that that comes out soon because this just isn't a, uh, you can't get the cards you need without it, so. Coming soon, I don't know how soon, but hopefully. Um, we'll do the shop last, um. This is just your chat and friends list. I have a friend request. Um, I hate to be the person to do this, but I cannot add everybody. The first day I downloaded this program, I had like five friend requests, and I just accepted them without thinking. Like, oh, sure, I'll be your friend, I'll be your friend. And then while I'm trying to build a deck, I keep getting pop-ups in my face saying, do you want to play against this person, do you want to play against this person? Um, so I couldn't even make a deck because I was getting all these requests. So unfortunately, I can't add everybody but I will play people in the random games. Um, I do have Josh as my one friend. He's not online right now, but if he was and I wanted to talk to him, you can just pop up your own little chat with your friends. 
so that's kind of cool. Um, settings or options, options and help. Um, pretty straightforward. You can change your screen resolution, your performance settings. You can turn off animations and things like that. Um, I haven't really messed with any of them. I kind of just leave them at default. Okay, I don't know why it moves like that sometimes, but it does. Um, and then help, FAQs, rules, tutorials, report problem, things like that. So that's that. This is going to tell me how many tokens I have. All of these tokens are from before. Um, when it was the online program and now I haven't gotten any new ones so I don't know if we're going to be getting new ones or what no idea what gems do eventually you're probably going to be able to use them to buy things in the store the shop um, I have zero booster credits currently and zero tournament keys I don't know what tournament keys are but I know that they are going to be implementing some kind of tournament play so we'll see what they do with that um, so let's take a look at the shop and redeem some codes and open some packs so that you can um, see how to do that, although it is very, very similar. Within the shop, it'll show you um, cards that are, well, packs, not really cards, um, but packs that you can buy. Gameplay items are not available yet, and avatar items are not available yet. Again, no idea when these coming soon things are going to be available. Um, buying gems is not available and account history is not available so the only thing you can do in the shop is redeem codes and buy packs currently so let's go ahead and do that again there is a QR reader um, you can use your webcam to redeem the codes just like before except again I'm sure you're not surprised coming soon so what you have to do is type them in manually so I'm just gonna type in a couple and show you guys um, how it works and um, there is one thing right now about this that really bothers me that I hate about it and I'll show you that in a second um, oops I, I entered that one already apparently I might have grabbed from the wrong pile I thought this was the new pile but it could have been the old pile we will find out in a second. Okay, so there's one. So I messed that up. I think this is a new one too. Okay. Okay. So, um, the one thing that bothers me though is like currently right now I cannot go to the store and buy um, packs because I have to actually claim my rewards now. The problem with this though is the other night I entered like hundreds of codes at once. You can only select one at a time. What's the point of selecting them if you can only select one at a time? So you have to go through and claim them one by one. <laughs> Which is a pain when you have like a booster box full of codes or something. Um, so now you will see, um, it says one, but it takes a second to update. There's two. If I click on cards, uh, okay, it still says one. Well, we're going to try and buy two packs and see what it tells me. So let's get one next destinies and one dark explorers. So again, that's all within the shop. You just choose the one you want, click redeem, and now if I go back to my collection, what was empty before will now have two packs in it. Ta-da! So let's go ahead and open those up. You just choose the one you want and click open pack. <laughs> wow, if only this was real life. Well. We got a shiny Gardevoir. <laughs> wow, that's too funny. It's cool. I probably won't ever use it in the game. I wish it was a real card, but that was pretty awesome. And our next Destiny's pack. We got... Eh, nothing exciting, really. But um, that's all there is to it. Um, as far as redeeming codes and opening packs. And then now if I go to my cards... The ones that I just opened, ta-da, in my collection. 
Um, so I'm going to end this video here because it's probably like 20 minutes long. <laughs> Hopefully it was informative though. Um, I may have rushed through it, so if there's any questions that you have about the program itself, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. Can't guarantee that I'll have an answer because I don't work for Pokemon, I just play the game, so. <laughs> but um, yeah, feel free to ask questions. Um, and I'm going to go through how to play a game. Um, by just kind of playing a game uh, in the next video that I upload in a day or two. So be on the lookout for that. But um, that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys for watching. And I promise I won't have another 10-month hiatus. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'll see you guys next time.